What's up you guys, my name is Apprentai and welcome back to another video. Today is part one of building the ultimate flat. So, there's a few things I want to get done today, or I aim to get done today. Um, number one priority is my bedroom, and then number two priority is the kitchen. So, in my bedroom, I need to paint all the walls. I need to get rid of that horrible purple-brown colour that's making the room look really dark and small and groggy. I want to paint it magnolia, give it some warmth into the room, make some light as well, and make it look a lot bigger. So, that's the first thing I need to do in my room. I also need to get my bed ready so I can actually sleep in it. I also need to build my shelving unit, and I need to sort the cupboard out as well, put a rail up, put a shelf up. Uh, and then get all my clothes away. So that's number one priority. Second priority for today's uh, episode is to sort the kitchen. So toaster, uh, microwave, and I also need to install one of these things that I bought onto the breakfast bar, which is a USB power adapter. So I can literally don't have to put the plug in, I can just put the cable into it. I'm actually going to install these all around the house eventually, but for today's episode, that is the plan. I also need to go pick up some paint, pick up some lights from IKEA. Um, as well as a few other bits and bobs as well. Let's get on with it. Now I have sort of like started just because I wanted to get a sort of a, an idea of what it would look like and that sort of thing. So got some sheets down at the moment. I've got magnolia and white. I think I'm going to magnolia and then white on the roof or the ceiling. So let's get the rest of the sheets down. That's everything sheeted now. Um, as you can see all here. And you may wonder, Alex, how did you become such a pro at painting? Well, I'm not, but my dad's a painter and decorator, so I've kind of picked up things over the years of learning how to sort of like paint. I used to do like when I was on holiday or school holidays in summer, and go do jobs and all that sort of thing. So I know pretty much quite a bit. I know what I'm doing. However, if it does go wrong, I'm going to be phoning him and get him to come down. <laughs> like, dad, drive an hour and a half to get here and fix it. Obviously, I wouldn't do that. I'd get him to fix it when he was next down. But yeah, let's just crack on and get on with it. Yo, here we go again. I find myself in the same fucking position. I gotta let go of this one. The fork in the road, that place we all hate. Go left to right. I think it's right that I skate. I've been standing on thin ice for days. It's gon' break. I mean, if I stay, cause your shit ain't the same. It ain't the screaming and crying. We arguing all the time. These reasons ain't hard to find, and that's what I call a sign. Let's pack it all in. I'm thinking we qualified. It's time to say goodbye. Adios, au revoir. My life on pause. No wonder I'm distraught. All those red flags, shit. All done. First call, all done anyway. So. It looks so much bigger already. Like, obviously, it's gonna need a second coat. I won't need to cut it again, I'll probably just need to roll it again. But, uh, go ahead for that to dry, and then give it the second coat. And that's it, HUD, it's two coats. As you can see, it's a lot brighter in here now, and that's without the light actually on. And it feels a lot bigger, feels a lot warmer as well, which is quite good. Now, I have uh, had to touch up around the, uh, the lights up there, and a bit over there. It's just when the electricians were in, they made a bit of a, a mess in the walls, and they filled it. But they did a shit job at filling, so I just went over to filler and sanded it back now and just touched it up with some, some white. Um, now in the cupboard, the plan for this is, this is the rail that was on it. This is like an old bit of piping and it is really bendy when you like, you put a bit of weight on it. So I decided I want to buy some heavy duty proper rails that aren't going to bend. Now the problem is, the gap in my cupboard is 98 centimeters as opposed to like a round, I say a round number, like an increment of five. Um, because of these um, extra wooden bits that are here that things have to screw into. So because of that, I could only get a rail as 95 or 100 without it being like a custom, having to spend money on a custom rail or building it myself. So uh, when I was in Ikea, I picked up some 95 centimeter rails. All I'm gonna do is get some wood and just screw it up there like that and then down again. This is three mil uh, wood, so that's perfect. Five plus three is eight essentially, so 98. So that's the plan. Then up here, and um, you can see a bit of a rack. I'm gonna put like a flat bit of ply, so like a flat shelf. Then I've got a sort of a unit to build here, like a shelving unit type thing. Then I need to get my bedding done as well, which I'm probably gonna do next, because it's the only thing I can really do just now. And that's then pretty much gonna be my room done. I need to nip to Ikea to get some lamps for the bedside table as well. But that is the plan for just now. We're just gonna roll with it. I went to Ikea and picked up two of these lamps and there I was going to sit on the bedside table, one of which is where you guys are just now and then one over in the other corner. They were expensive but they are really nice, like 
nice lids. I'll be the something. And what else? And the, uh, the base. They're quite heavy as well, so it's quite good. I picked up some bulbs as well. I might get some like Philips Hue bulbs as well, so I can like adjust them and turn them on from like outside and that sort of thing. But let's just get on with building this thing. I ain't trying to place the blame and go and say all you women are insane. I'm just saying. Just saying. It's like I need to find an exit if she anything like my last ex. I need protection. Fuck, I need a weapon. Right, let's see. Time to do the second one. There we go, that's the light is done. That is looking sick. Really happy with the way they've come out. I um, still think I might get some Philips Hues for them. Just so one, I can change the colours and make like a raven here. And two, because I think it'd be pretty cool to like just set them from elsewhere. Ah, now we're going to move on to the cupboard and the unit. So I've got the shelving unit here. The, the plan is to put things in, but it also means a flat top that I can put like a TV on or something. That's the plan. I don't know if I'm going to have in my room yet, but it's just like a sort of a, if I want to, I can. IKEA stuff is so easy to build. I freaking love it. Okay to cops, will somebody call a reverend to read my last rites, go and get my last confession, cause we just in the same damn mess, how we left it, six million ways to die, to die. so I don't know if I'ma make it alive. alive, I said six million ways to die, I'm pretty sure this crazy bitch figured all of them out, I'm just saying. You guys can see that is all it all built all sitting nicely there i don't know what the plan is for it yet like the the whole plan for the house is like i've got a rough plan of where i want each room and that sort of thing but what's going to be in it i don't know again i think i'm going to change this magnolia wall i think there's too many walls in here that are magnolia and it's like there's not enough unless i get like a big painting or something above the bed but there's like I don't know, it just looks too plain. I don't know, we need to continue by putting this away, but before we do that, obviously we've got to fix the shelf and get a rail up. That is the next task. Now I did say the next task would be me doing the rail in the cupboard, however, I decided I'm going to do this instead. It looks really cool, I love it. I want to get the microwave, toaster, and the kitchen bin as well sorted. The place is kind of like a building site, it's getting look to look like a, an actual place of living. That is the plan, we're gonna get this unboxed, this unboxed. I've been thinking about maybe putting the toaster or the microwave over on the breakfast bar over here. Um, not quite decided, and then we've got the kitchen bin, which is this one. Ugh. Wait, that's upside down. To unbox. Change of plan, it didn't suit over there and like the closer and carrot didn't really suit over here so microwave's gonna be here just now. You can still access two parts, kind of three parts of the breakfast bar. Coffee machine's gonna stay in that corner I think. I still don't know. <sighs> this is so stressful. Right. We now have the bits we need. made a bit of a mistake because I measured it exact I didn't account for like this bit not being or the back wall but not being like sitting flush or straight and it's kind of lodged or jammed as you can see so I'm just gonna go the old-fashioned method and give it some brute force perfectly level in the middle 25 to 26 it'll do 
26, they're both level. Fantastic, that was a fucking lot of effort. That is on. Whew. Right, that's on. All your nice and flush and countersunk. Just needs a bit of paint in. This, you can see all the, the hammering marks there from what I was uh, trying to do. This needs a good coat of paint and then I can get this shelf sorted. That's me got this bit of wood plywood cut. Now to see if it fits in. I'm panicking because I don't know if it's going to fit or not. So the only thing I can do is try, I guess. Oh. Oh shit, it's gonna fill this gap. Oh shit. It's not looking good. Wow, it fits. Like, really well. I did a good job. Okay, so now obviously this shelf is on, the only thing left to do is to screw it down to the uh, panels, the supporting panels, and then I think we're done with for today. <laughs> Quickly go over what I managed to get done in part one. Paint the bedroom, check. Do my sheets and sort my bedroom out, check. Get the desk sort of, or bookshelf thing built, check. Build the wardrobe or sort the wardrobe with the rail and the shelf. Check and check. Last thing, get the kitchen all sorted out and looking like more like a kitchen. Toaster, microwave, bin. Check. I think today has been pretty successful. If you guys have enjoyed today's video, make sure you smash the like button. It would be muchly and greatly appreciate. If you're new around here as well, please make sure you hit subscribe. If you have enjoyed today's video and you want to see more, make sure you let me know in the comment section down below. If you guys want to see more, I will continue this. If not, then I probably won't. If you want to check any of my social media, links to them will be in the description. Other than that, guys, until next time, I've been the Prentai, and I'll see you in the next one. I'm about to blow, taking bombs, no it's on with the challenge, and balance out the shots, what you got, spew mountains. Yeah. So say hi in the ride, getting fly with the, the Prentai.